I'd like to show you some experiments that you can do with pennies. I have here some new pennies that are minted after 1982. These are comprised of a zinc core and a copper coat. I also have some old pennies minted prior to 1982. These are made of 95% copper and 5% zinc. Now take a blowtorch. You can pick up one of these blowtorches at Home Depot or Lowe's or a lumber yard, hardware stores. I'm going to take a new penny, minted again after 1982. And this new penny is comprised of, again, a zinc core, pure zinc core, and coated with copper. Now zinc melts at 419 Celsius. And it's pretty easy to heat this penny to 419 Celsius. And you can see that because the zinc melts out of the penny. We'll do a few more of them. Again, this new penny has a zinc core that melts at 419 Celsius. And as I heat the penny, it looks like a fluid-filled sac forms that's held by the copper coat. And when that happens, I heat just a little longer and then shake my wrist. And that gets the zinc, molten zinc core to drip out. Something you might notice is that I have a beaker of water here. And there's a reason for that. It's for safety. I have observed, upon melting these zinc pennies, the zinc to drip onto a bench top. And when that happens, the molten zinc will slide across the bench top. And if that molten zinc happens to slide across the bench top and towards you, that could be bad. So because of that, anytime I melt pennies, I always have a beaker of water ready beneath so that any molten zinc that drips will get caught in the beaker of water. Of course, it also serves to cool the molten zinc and freeze it back to a solid so that you can pick it up. Go ahead and show you some of these zinc cores that fell out of the penny. And I'm also going to show you uh, the residual copper coat. All right, so here is the zinc core. It's a beautiful shiny silver. Look at that, it's pretty. And here is the copper coat. I want you to look carefully at that copper coating. Over on the left, you can see where the zinc dripped out. And you can sort of see the shiny zinc point on the far left. And then that zinc kind of grays as it goes toward the middle of the, of the uh, leftover uh, copper uh, plate. On the right half, I can see on the copper plate some different colors. I see the orange-brown metallic color that's characteristic of copper, but I also see quite a bit of golden color. Now, I think that golden color is brass, and here's why. Brass happens to be an alloy of copper and zinc. So if you get the right mixture of copper and zinc, it, you get a golden color of brass. And so I think as the molten zinc is dripping out of the penny, it mixes with some of the copper in the coat, and it mixes in the right ratio so that you get a nice alloy of brass, and that gives you that beautiful golden color. So it's sort of the easy way to make brass pennies, if you're familiar with the brass penny experiment. Okay, now I'm going to repeat this experiment, but this time, instead of trying to melt new pennies, I'm going to try to melt old pennies. Now keep in mind, these old pennies are comprised almost entirely of copper. And copper melts at 1,085 Celsius. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this in the flame. You might see a few flecks of green flame coming off from excited copper atoms. I'll tell you how to make sure that you get some green flame, or at least increase your chances of seeing it in a, in a moment. But in this case, what you see is that the penny can be heated until it's glowing yellow-orange. But it doesn't melt. The blowtorch can't provide sufficient energy to heat the penny to a temperature that remains at or above 1,085 Celsius. 
This is kind of neat too. I'm going to go ahead and continue to heat this penny. And when I first, I'm going to remove the flame. And when I first remove the flame, you'll probably be able to see the characteristic color of copper behind the glow. But over time, that'll fl fade to black. And what I believe is going on there is that the hot copper is reacting with oxygen in the air to form copper oxide, which is black. Now, when I place the black, it's now coated with copper oxide, penny in the water, of course there's quite a bit of boiling that goes on, and that boiling takes the copper oxide coating right off the penny. I'm going to do this again with a penny that has a bit of green corrosion on it. This one here. And usually when I heat pennies with a bit of green corrosion on them, you'll see that characteristic green flame that's indicative of copper atoms being excited. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. That's a beautiful green. I'm actually seeing some blue, too. I don't often see that. But in this case, I'm able to. That's just gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and heat this particular penny until it glows. If you can see this in the camera, but uh, you know, beneath the glow, I can sort of see the orange red color that's indicative of you know, just metallic copper. But then, as I remove the flame, I see that glow fade to a, a black color. And again, I think that that's copper oxide that's formed on the outside of the penny. And when you place that penny in the water, the copper oxide coating gets boiled off and you're left with the shiny metallic copper. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to try to get another penny with a little bit of corrosion on it. This has just got a little bit of green on it, this particular penny here. And remember, these old pennies that I'm heating now, they will not melt when heated with a blowtorch, or at least I've never seen them do so because copper melts at 1,085 Celsius, and it's really difficult to heat this penny to 1,085 with the flame of this uh, blowtorch. But you do get it hot enough to glow an orange-yellow color. Right now it's about a little bit of orange-red. Going to orange, you continue to heat, and it gets to that nice orange-yellow color. That's just pretty. I remove the flame to observe the formation of copper oxide. And then to remove the copper oxide coating, I just place that in the, in the water. You got your nice shiny penny when you're done. Love to hear any experiments that you do with uh, copper or with pennies. Uh, pass them along. I'd love to hear your comments.